The UK's Lewis Hamilton is celebrating today after taking the 2008 Formula One Drivers Championship in what could be the ultimate F1 squeaker. Also, GM sends a fleet of Camaros to Sin City. A fearless tuning shop builds an 800 horsepower Ferrari. And there's naked trouble on two wheels. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Derek D. You're checking out Fast Lane Daily, and I apologize about my voice. I was at the Giants game yesterday. Fast Lane Daily with Derek D. Always fresh every day. This episode of Fast Lane Daily is brought to you by Valvoline's automotive series, Under the Hood with Brandon and the Frog. Watch for new episodes at brandonandthefrog.com. Depending on when you turned off the TV yesterday, Lewis Hamilton either nailed the 2008 F1 Drivers' Championship or he's the worst choker in the history of sports. Well, millions of race fans had to be pried down from the ceiling yesterday as Lewis Hamilton turned what could be the biggest gamble in racing history into a season victory. It was in the final seconds that the 23-year-old Brit passed Toyota's Timo Glock to secure his spot as the youngest Formula One champion ever. With a spot of rain and four laps to go at Brazil's raceway at Interlagos, Hamilton was running in fifth place. Just then, in a daring move, Red Bull's racing Sebastian Vettel took past Hamilton. It was a dramatic turning point, so dramatic, that we now turn to master storyteller Alistair Childress for a dramatic reading from the always dramatic Times UK. Hello, I'm Alistair Childress, and this is a reading from Edward Gorman, motor racing correspondent of the Times UK. Watching it was agony, not just for Hamilton fans, but for Felipe Massa too. He must have thought during the closing three laps after Hamilton had been overtaken by Sebastian Vettel in a Toro Rosso, dropping the Briton to sixth place, and that his dreams of becoming his country's first world champion since Ayrton Senna had come true. Then behind him, in a deepening gloom, came Hamilton's last gap pass on Glock. It looked as if Hamilton had blown it. Millions of his fans back home in Britain were staring dumbfounded at their television screens, wondering how their man had, could have lost yet again. What no one could have known outside, the secure communications network that links Hamilton's car to McLaren pit wall and links the pit wall in turn to the team strategist at the headquarters in Walking Surrey. Ah, uh, it's enough. It's getting way too geeky now. Stop. Anyway. Our thoughts go out to the Ferrari team. Thinking their own Felipe Massa had taken the title, the over-anxious Tifosi started celebrating just a little too early. Yeah. Well, Chevrolet released new images of a fleet of modded Camaros that will appear at the SEMA show this week. The Las Vegas aftermarket extravaganza will host six Chevy Camaro concept cars. Last week we reported on the Camaro Black concept. That car will be joined by the LS7 concept. That's powered by GM's LS7 crate engine from the Corvette Z06 producing 550 horsepower. The LS7 concept also includes a Tremec six-speed manual, Brembo brakes, lowered suspension, and 20-inch alloys. The Camaro GS race car concept gets styling reminiscent of racer Mark Donahue's original blue and yellow Trans Am series Camaro from the 1960s. The GS comes with a production spec LS3 V8 over a Tremec 6060 six-speed. Outside, it gets a carbon fiber hood, trunk, doors, and fenders, as well as a three-inch exhaust and upgraded cooling system. The rest of the Camaro Customs will debut at the Las Vegas Convention Center later on this week. And if you've got a Ferrari 599 GTB Fiorano for your birthday, but what you really wanted was a solid rocket booster, Ferrari tuner Novatec Rosso has just the thing. It's a power kit that boosts the V12 GT car from 612 horsepower to 808. That by way of a twin supercharger kit. The Novatec 599 also gets a wind tunnel tested aero kit, sports suspension and brakes and 21 inch wheels. No word on price, and that's probably for the best. Next up, new super bikes from Ducati. That's in the internet rumor mill, and you guessed it. It's after this. Auto do-it-yourselvers have amazing bartering potential. Oh, well, not until you fix my car like you said. You get a free pizza in exchange for some easy car work. One reason that a car might run hot is because of bad or low cooling. We're gonna play it safe and replace the fluid. Best free thing there is, man. If the tires hold up and the wind stays down, you know, we're gonna see the GT3 come out on top of the GTR. What is better than cold pizza? Nothing, except for maybe a cool running car. 
Find out how to keep your car's cooling system working right, and maybe get some free pizza while you're at it. Head over to Under the Hood with Brandon and the Frog at brandonandthefrog.com and watch the latest episode. So what would you think about a new top secret machine producing more than 150 horsepower? Probably not much unless it was, oh, I don't know, a motorcycle. Expect the Street Fighter to cost in the $14,000 to $15,000 range, and you could also get a limited edition one signed by Blanca himself, and I even think Chung Lee is gonna be there. Cool. Well, that wraps up Fastlane Daily for today. I'm Derek D, and if you like that uh, 25 cent song you saw on Friday, my favorite show, you can download it at my official site, DerekD.com. Click on the FLD logo, and then click FLD Downloads, and it's right there. You can also get the Comment of the Week jingle and 25 cents less FLD song. All right? So, thanks. Have a good Monday, everybody. Let's clap it up.